Hi sweeties, please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Let's get into this review of the 10 inch Smithy cast iron skillet. It retails for about $160. Is it worth it? Let me work it. Here's a link to my previous video where I get more into the history, the care, and the keeping of Smithy cast iron. But let's get into this review and demo. Let me tell you what I really think. So following Smithy's directions, I'm gonna give it a rinse before it's first use. It's got a little bit of those little sticky things to hold that label on. We'll just pull those off. Take that out and dry it thoroughly. And I'm going to rub it with a little bit of oil, but before I do that, I notice that there are a couple of little defects in this pan. And I'm going to recommend to my friend that he let the manufacturer know that it came with some defects, just in case he has any problem with it later. Now I have a little vegetable oil applied to this paper towel and I'm going to rub a thin layer of vegetable oil. This is canola oil and before y'all start talking about, oh canola oil is bad for you, I've got a video about that. I'll link it above and you can decide for yourself. You can use any high smoke point oil with a neutral flavor if you like. A lot of people like flaxseed oil. A lot of people like to use um, shortening, which is honestly probably what your great-grandmama, great-grandfather, or whatever used on their old cast iron, and it worked just fine. Then it says, warm at high heat over your range until the oil begins to smoke and the color of the cooking surface darkens a bit. I decided to take it outside because even with the vent, I was not into having a smoky house. So here we are. And there we go. It's starting to smoke a bit and it's starting to darken. I don't know if you can see right in there, it's starting to darken a bit. And we should be just about done with and ready to begin our first use. Now, now I've heard some folks say the best way to season cast iron is to cook bacon in it. And who am I to argue with that kind of logic? So let's fry up some bacon in this smithy and start the seasoning process again. Now with cast iron, you don't have to crank the heat up to high to cook. Cast iron retains heat really well, so I want to cook at about medium, even medium to low. Now that our bacon is finished cooking, let's go ahead and cook up a little bit of potato in the bacon fat because, you know, why not? I steamed some potatoes in the microwave with a little water and salt just to soften. And there's already salt in that bacon as well. Let's get a little fresh cut pepper. All right, our potatoes are done. We'll take those out, let our pan cool off a little bit, then we'll wash it out. That seasoning 
I didn't even finish washing the pan yet. But can you see that? Oops. The seasoning has come right off, so it doesn't have that pretty kind of copper golden look anymore. That's what I was afraid of. You know, when you borrow something and you return it, even though you follow the directions, sometimes it doesn't look so good. And it'll still work well, but it's really disappointing. So this is the Smithy after first use. I just washed it and drying it thoroughly. And you can see some of the seasoning comes off. Now it does say not to worry if a bit of the seasoning comes off after a few um after your first few dishes building a mature base of seasoning takes time all right i get that but it's just super disappointing to buy something and spend a hundred and sixty dollars on it and you use it one time and that's what you get so. all right my oven is heating so i can re-season this pan and you can see it's not the washing that took the seasoning off because I washed the whole pan the same way. You can see the outline of the bacon where the seasoning has come off. So it's really the cooking. And I think that's, I mean, it's normal, but to me it's kind of like um, a little bit of a gimmick to put the seasoning on and make it look so like pretty and coppery and then you use it one time and the seasoning just flakes right off. I mean that to me is not a well seasoned pan. Now the pan itself is still a good quality. I'm not complaining about the quality of the pan. I'm just you know a little disappointed in the seasoning that's all. Now it says to take a tablespoon of oil, which we have here, and rub both sides of the pan. Here, I'll show you the directions. Our oven is already heating. It'll be at 475 too. Take a tablespoon of oil and wipe down, uh, let's see, shorting of vegetable oil, any high smoke point oil, all over the surface area of the skillet, so front and back. So that's what we'll do. And then when our oven is hot enough, we'll put it in the oven. Of course, we'll wipe out any excess oil before we put it in the oven. All right, so I wiped out all the excess oil from this pan, we'll put it in the oven. I'm going to follow the smithy directions, which do not say anything about turning the pan upside down since I just want to make sure I follow closely what they say to do. But I wiped off any excess oil and I put a pan underneath to catch the drips, if there were any. All right, so our pan has been reseasoned and cooled. Now I've got it over a medium flame and I'm going to fry an egg. Let's see how the smithy does with just frying an egg. I'm gonna brush it with a little canola oil. And then let's drop our egg in. Does. 
the far side. Let's see how it's doing. I'm gonna say it's sticking pretty good there. Not real happy with the way the egg is sticking. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that is not going to work. I need more seasoning than that to keep an egg from sticking. Well, folks, I think I would call that a failure of the egg test. Um, it's a little disappointing. Again, you know, I would think that if you buy a cast iron skillet for $160, that right out the box, it should be non-stick. Um, but that's just me. I'm sure it'll do fine with steaks and everything. I can't do more testing because I got to return it tonight. But um, I'm a little disappointed in the Smithy. So that's just my first look at the Smithy cast iron pan. So I washed the pan out again and I'm drying it over a medium flame on the stove. And I noticed that there's a little water bubbling out from the sides of the pan from some imperfections in the pan so that troubles me a little bit you want to make sure that and I haven't put any oil in there yet but you know I don't want to seal in any water inside the pan so I'm gonna let this fully evaporate but that does concern me as well please like and subscribe to Sweet Savant for more great product reviews, I'll always be honest with you and let you know how I really feel. Thanks so much, sweeties. Bye.